Good morning, everyone. Would you look at that autumnal sunshine, that morning light streaming in my goodness me. Does it feel magical this morning? And I don't normally start my vlogs in this spot. I'm starting my vlog a lot earlier than I normally do. I'm up bright and early this morning. I've just been sitting here in my usual Ellie nook in the kitchen. I've been watching the sunlight just like swinging round. I was like, you know what? What a perfect time to start the vlog and say good morning because this is just my favorite way to start the morning, having a bit more of like a slow, easy morning. I've made myself a cup of tea and my favorite little pumpkin mug. And you know that autumn is here when number one, the sun doesn't reach round here until a little bit later in the morning. I can always tell what kind of season we're in depending on where the sun hits in the kitchen at what time of day. So it's been really lovely seeing it like swing round because you get like a little bit of a later morning sunshine. The bifolds are all like frosted over, like it's so steamy, which I absolutely love because you know that it's just like a really frosty, chilly morning outside and I just love sitting here, doing a bit of journaling, getting myself ready for the morning. I've already posted my morning Instagram post. This is just kind of like my favorite way to start the day. And I thought, what better time to start the vlog? So I feel like we need a really big catch up because I have been here, there and everywhere at the moment. And even though obviously I've been vlogging all of it, we've been kind of like keeping up to date throughout the whole thing. I feel like it's been a really long time since we just sat, appreciated, the new season and just had a big old catch up because I do feel like there is lots to talk about. So it is Monday morning this morning. I got back from Italy on Thursday evening quite late and I decided just to give myself a few days off from vlogging because I have literally been non-stop vlogging, like pretty much daily vlogging for maybe like the last two, three months because of the amount of trips I've been on, the amount of things that I've been doing. And I kind of said to Alex, I just feel like I need a few days with no makeup on no camera in front of my face, just to kind of like be. And that is exactly what we did. We were actually supposed to go away at the weekend. And on Friday night, I just said, I can't even imagine going away right now. Like I just want to be at home. So we canceled all plans and just had a weekend in the house. And I cannot tell you how much it has like healed my soul. As amazing as it's been at traveling to so many different countries and having so many amazing trips, I'm a home body at heart and I do feel like I just needed that. I needed like a full weekend at home just to like reset, heal my soul and just potter. I just love pottering. It's like my favorite thing to do. So that's exactly what we did at the weekend and I feel like it's just put me in the best mood and it really has gotten me ready for autumn. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I have really noticed the change more than a lot of people who have like still been here in the UK because it's kind of like the frog in boiling water phenomenon where when you've been experiencing like it like slowly, you don't quite notice the difference because it's obviously just day by day. But I do feel like when I came back from the south of France, I mean, we had the heat wave, but it was definitely getting darker earlier. And I was like, oh, I feel like it's a real like end of summer vibe. We came back from Lisbon and I was like, oh, there's been a real drop in temperature. Like it does feel a little bit autumnal. I've come back from Italy and it feels like, boom, I have been thrown into autumn. And it has been a little bit of a shock. Number one, how late it's getting light and how early it's getting dark. And number two, just how chilly it is. This is the first time I've actually worn like a jumper or a knit properly in such a long time. It feels really bizarre, but I'm kind of loving it. I feel like that's one of my favorite things about going away at the end of September. Like if you're looking to do like a late summer holiday, it's so fun coming home and just seeing all of the changes and being that one to point out like oh my gosh have you noticed that it's now dark at this time and everyone's like oh my god yeah i hadn't really noticed that because obviously it's been getting gradually darker or just the temperature difference like i think i have jumped down about 20 degrees it went up to about 30 degrees whilst we were away in italy and i've come home and the mornings particularly are like 8 to 10 degrees they feel so chilly and I'm kind of loving it. I'm kind of loving it. I really do feel like I am now fully ready for autumn mode. That is me home now, which I'm really, really excited about because I'm a home bird. I love my trips. I love exploring and traveling, but I just love being at home and I have no trips currently booked from now until next year, which I'm kind of saying cheers to that because I think it's just gonna be really, really lovely to have autumn at home 
autumn winter at home are just my two favorites i feel like october november december are three of my favorite months because obviously october you get like the chill of autumn i am someone who doesn't really feel like september is autumn for me mainly because i always do like end of summer holidays i feel like a lot of people like to go away in september we often get a bit of an indian summer here in the uk we often get a bit of a heat wave so i know a lot of people as soon as it hits the first of september they're like that is autumn for me i know according to the calendar I think it's the 21st of September. It's technically the first day of autumn. So as you're watching this, it's literally a couple of days away from October. So for me, it's kind of like, yeah, end of September, 1st of October. That is when I am ready for like full autumn mode and when I am in full autumn vibes. So you've obviously got the coziness, the chilliness, the comfiness of October. Then you've got like even more so in November. And I feel like things really start ramping up ready for Christmas obviously december is literally just like my favorite month of the year i absolutely love december i will be doing vlogmas again this year do not worry i know that it's still a little way away to start thinking about but i have been getting a couple of messages asking if i will be doing it so already starting to plan my november december christmas content which i'm really really excited about and i feel like it's just been a perfect morning just to like get cozy um speaking of cheersing to things i'm having a morning cup of tea because i feel like since being in italy i really kind of like fell out of the habit of having coffee because i know that i think it did coffee it didn't originate from italy but i know that italians are supposed to be like some of the best at coffee and things like that and i hope i'm not offending anyone but i'm sorry italian coffee sucks <laughs> if you're someone like me and you like your frappa lappa cappuccinos you know anything like milky and frothy and like sweet they do not do that like they just don't understand the concept we tried so many times trying to like teach them how to do like a frothy or milky coffee bee and every single time they were bringing like a massive black coffee with just maybe like a dash of milk and i just couldn't I, i'm not that kind of guy i don't like a strong coffee i don't like it to be too like bitter i always use a sweetener and i just got to a point where i kind of gave up with my coffees whilst i was over there and i feel like it's really good for you not to rely on coffee first thing in the morning i actually found um I can't remember where I heard it, but I heard that basically it's really bad for your body to rely on caffeine first thing in the morning and you should actually just drink water for maybe like the first hour or two that you've been awake. So I've been really trying to delay my first morning cup of tea because normally I would have my cup of tea like first thing in the morning and then a cup of coffee a few hours later and I've been late, basically like pushing them both back. So I woke up this morning, I had a really lovely like icy cold glass of water and then I kind of like crack on with my morning, get myself ready, get myself dressed and then a couple of hours later I'll allow myself to have my morning cup of tea and it's just a bit of a more natural way to start the day. It's a little bit like gentler on your body. Um, and I've heard that it's so much better for you when it comes to like sleep, when it comes to like feeling awake in the morning. So that's kind of been my tradition. And of course I'm having it in my anthropology pumpkin mug that Alex got me when we went into Winchester because it's just the cutest thing in the world. I'm talking so much, this tea is gonna get cold. Hang on a second. As you can see, I'm not in my usual Monday morning get up this morning. I am in full gym mode. I've got the cutest little sweater on from Suzanne. It says on it, Amour. I think it's so cute. I picked it up last year, so I don't think they do it anymore. But I'll see if I can find something similar that they may be bringing out for this autumn. Because it's one of the few sweaters I love. Like, it's not too thick. It's really nice and soft. And it's not one that ruins in the wash. I can't tell you how many sweaters come back from the wash. And they just don't feel the same. They're not as soft. They're not as fluffy. So I really love this one. Then I've got a pair of, like, Vali leggings on. This really cute little, like, khaki colour. What else? I sit on chairs. Just, like, really weird. I always feel like I've got, like, one leg up. Where I, like, always sit cross-legged or something. Is it, like, a short girl? thing i'm not entirely sure because i feel like my feet don't really touch the ground normally like most people do um but yes got a gym class booked this morning at 11 a.m and then i'm going to meet lady c afterwards for a swim in the outdoor pool because if there is one thing that i love more than swimming in the outdoor pool when it's like beautiful sunshine it's swimming in the outdoor pool when it's freezing cold I don't know if it's a bit of a sick and twisted thing, but I just love it. Because they do heat the pool, so it's really nice and warm when you're actually in it. And it's just so nice to get that, like, fresh air, especially because there's, like, a chill in the air. And you know when you, like, kind of pull your body out and it's freezing and then you, like, dip your body back in? It's all nice and warm. And jumping in the pool after a sweaty workout is just my favourite thing ever. So I'm going to meet Lady C this morning for a little bit of a swim, which will be lovely because we can have a proper catch-up from my trip. So I'm going to put a bit of um, lip balm on whilst I'm talking to you because this is the Calm Balm from Bramley. It's like a really, really gorgeous, really lovely lip balm with just like such a gorgeous scent. And my lips are so dry at the moment. I cannot even tell you. I feel like it's just been 
all of the traveling and all that I've been doing. I really do feel like I've had such a like delayed summer this year. Like it was literally 30 degrees in Italy. It was so, so warm. But now that I'm back home, I am really, really excited to get fully into auto mode. I've already been doing autumn home switch up i did that this weekend and i was thinking of vlogging it but as i said i just wanted to have a bit of a weekend away from the camera so the kitchen has been very very beautifully redone i've got lots of new pots we took a trip to the garden center at the weekend a trip to home sense and i just spent the weekend pottering and literally like potting up <laughs> my new plants my new herbs some of them weren't doing so well on the windowsill so i've like changed up a few things i've added a few new things to the shelves and i don't know if you can see behind me i've got a cute new little print from decennia that i'm absolutely obsessed with so i really do feel like i've given it that like autumn i know there's like a spring clean and i kind of call it like my autumn clean but i've given it like that autumn switch up and i have literally been writing myself like an autumn to-do list i've been doing as well this weekend it's literally writing myself like a to-do list an autumn to-do list i've seen a lot of people on instagram and pinterest do this and just things to like tick off i mean they can be literally as small as like having your first pumpkin spice latte or something like huge where it's like you want to go on a trip maybe you want to do like a little weekend away um but one of them is a halloween party because when we were little when we were kids my mum used to throw the best halloween party she really is just like the lady of the house i aspire to be her when i grow up um and she used to throw halloween parties for like our friends and family and they were always so much fun we absolutely adored them as kids we would do apple bobbing we would do like um wrap the mummy we would have you know loads of like halloween decorations out and there would always be like people coming to our door to trick or treat it was so much fun so alex and i have decided we're gonna host a halloween party according to him dress up is mandatory he said he's gonna do a costume contest to make sure that everyone does actually dress up because he really really wants to see that so that would be really fun um next weekend we're going to do our first sunday roast of autumn which i'm really really excited about i've not done a sunday roast since literally like maybe january february of this year so i'm gonna need reminded how to do it. i also want to bake another crumble i think that would be really really fun you know i love my strawberry and peach crumble but maybe i should do something a bit more traditional but autumn like maybe an apple and blackberry one would be really really nice so doing a crumble i want to do a lot more baking this year like cookies and cakes and things like that i feel like i'm really really getting into my baking and i also want to look into a few more recipes when it comes to like cooking i feel like just like really lovely homemade recipes things that i can make in the evening just so that they feel really like wholesome and it just feels like good food in autumn i do feel like autumn vibes just call for like good food obviously we're gonna go pumpkin picking um we're gonna go see some friends we've got a lot planned for autumn we've also got like a little weekend away booked in oxford couldn't remember the name of it then i was like no it's definitely not bath oxford which i'm really really looking forward to so it's gonna be a super busy october like but in the best way i feel like just doing all of the things that i love and just like really soaking in those autumn vibes because i am so ready for it now i feel like i am home i'm gonna be home for an extended period of time and i'm fully ready to embrace autumn so that really has been the rambliest catch up in the world i do feel like i just needed to sit down have a good old chat with you guys and just have like a big old cozy catch up because i really am feeling the cozy vibes this morning it's so chilly honestly i just can't get over it. i just want to wrap my hands around my tea and warm myself up but i'm gonna finish my tea enjoy the rest of my morning and then we can catch up in a bit because i still have a bit of time before my gym session so i've got lots of things i want to show you it's gonna be a good one i feel like it's gonna be a good vlog it's gonna be a rambly one it's clearly a word vomity one but I hope you enjoy it because there's lots of cozy updates that I can't wait to show you. So whilst the sunlight is looking so magical, I thought I would show you some of the updates in the kitchen because according to Alex, we now literally live on a herb farm because I got so carried away at the weekend with all of the pots, the new herbs that I have been adding in, but I'm so obsessed with how it looks. I feel like because so much of the garden has been like going over and dying back, I've been wanting to add more greenery into the kitchen. Um, also... If you can see here, Tina is still sitting in that corner. She has been literally living there since we moved in. And it's really funny because I sometimes forget whenever there's like new um, subscribers or like new of you, you don't know who she is. Basically, she's this little llama that there was one year and I offered it Alex when it came to like Christmas decorations. I was like, by the way, get whatever you want. You know, like don't feel like it's me doing the Christmas stuff. And he picked this up from the range and turned around to me and went, I want her. I'm calling her Tina. 
And we used to have this game in our old flat where I would hide her and she would like keep resurfacing. Alex would like find her eventually and then like put her out. And it was so funny because we would both like keep doing it to each other where I would like hide her somewhere. He'd eventually find her, put her out. Then it would take me a while to notice that like she's been put back out. It was so funny. Um, when we moved into this house, he deliberately put her up there because he was like, haha, you can't reach. And he's not wrong. I can't reach. So she has literally lived there. And you know what's actually the funniest thing ever? She is in the background of our engagement announcement photo. <laughs> so if you don't know Tina... Welcome, welcome to the um, the family. This is Tina the Llama, she sits up there. Um, but anyway, actually lovely interior stuff. Let's get into, first of all, the new little print up here, which I'm so, so in love with. So as I said, this is from Decenio, and they now are doing canvases, which is so exciting because I actually do struggle a lot with their prints. I used to have so many of them in the old flat, but when we moved into this house, because it's a lot lighter and brighter, we obviously have so much more like windows and stuff like that. You can see the sun has now like, um, what's the word? It's like burnt through all of the condensation on the windows. You can actually see out into the garden now. Um, but yeah, because our house is so much lighter and brighter, I just found there was so much reflection coming off the glass. So that's why I don't have a lot of Decenio prints anymore. But now that they've started doing canvases, I'm so, so excited to start adding them into our house. So I have a few others upstairs that I will unbox with you guys later. But this one I'm absolutely in love with. I just think it's so, so cute. It's like a little print of all of these like plants. I think this is like an allium. I think We've got like some cabbage, we've got lettuce turnips, like it's just really, really cool. I think it's their Latin names, but I just really liked it. Most of the house is not green, but I felt like because it was more like plants and it wasn't like a green print, it kind of worked, especially because the shelves here I have really made into a little bit of a greenhouse and I'm so, so in love. I was actually really inspired by Lydia Millen's latest vlog and she was just potting up so many new like pots and herbs and ferns and things like that. And one of the main things she kept talking about was ivy and I have faux ivy upstairs, like I have a fake plant of ivy, but I thought, you know what, it'd be really nice to get some real ivy and just let it trickle down at the shelves. I think that would look so, so cool. So I, I picked this little popped up from um, Home Sense, and then just picked the ivy up from the, um, the garden center. It was really, really inaffordable. Inaffordable? It was really affordable. I think it was like three pounds or something. Um, and I love this pot, the kind of like um, herringbone detailing on it. I think it just looks really, really cool sat up there. I'm not gonna lie though, this is my new favorites. You guys remember I got this pot ages ago. I got it from Home Sense a good couple of months ago and I have been looking for the perfect thing to put in it for so, so long and I finally have found the perfect plant for it. This really unruly, absolutely wild thyme. I mean, how amazing does that look? I really am wanting to add in a few more things that I can like utilize in the kitchen as well. So it's not just like for show. We will use the thyme for things like roast and like cooking and whatnot. Um, but I just really, really loved it. I do have this plate underneath just to make sure that it doesn't like leak out because yeah, I'm gonna have to water it. Um, but I just think it looks so cool. And I really do feel like it's the perfect thing for this pot. It just looks like a little basket and I absolutely love it. Um, obviously the rest of the shelves are mostly the same yeah mostly the same except this little truck that i picked up from the antique center how cute is this i haven't fully decided how i'm going to style it up yet but i really really liked her i thought she was kind of the perfect size because all of my veggies are very small um and the big basket that i have kind of looks a bit silly when i'm like going around to other people's houses with these tiny little peppers in this like massive basket so i just thought that was a little bit cuter um but yeah loving how that looks i just feel like it's really really filled the space um and then something you may have seen in the background of videos but I don't think I've actually properly shown you yet is this new addition onto the wall Jane's embroidery how beautiful is that I love the like emerald um velvet ribbon she added to it as well and I know I've said it before but I'll say it again sweet peas were my granny's favorite so it really does feel like a piece of my like granny in the kitchen which just makes me so so happy and I love how it looks with the little olive branch above it um I'm thinking of maybe doing like a full feature on this uh beam I think it'll be really nice to add maybe a few more prints but I'm gonna do it slowly it's definitely something I've realized with regards to my interior is that it just works better when I do things slowly and I don't like rush the process because Honestly, I am gonna put, actually, let me come over this way. And what I'm gonna do, if you look at the sofa from this angle and like the kitchen from this angle, I'm gonna put like a little photo here of what it used to look like this time last year 
I can't believe how much has changed in a year. Feels like I've been doing it slowly, but oh my gosh, so much has changed within the space of a year. Um, and as you can see, the sofa even is looking a little bit different. This pillow needs, it needs a chop. I honestly hate it when they don't have the chop in it. I know that a few people have said that the chop is a little bit old fashioned now, but I still love it. I feel like it really, really works. And as you can see, we've added the cozy throws. These are actually just from Ikea. These really gorgeous little like, um, very natural kind of material, um, really super soft, cozy throws. We love them because obviously we can sit on them and they're nice and cozy or we can throw them over ourselves. So that is how this is looking. So even this space, I feel like is really, really looking cute. Um, and then my favorite things that I have added are these pots of Heather. Now I got these pots from HomeSense, but they didn't have a charger. Is it called a charger plate? I think it's called. I don't know if that's the actual name, but they didn't have a base. So I actually went to the antique center and literally picked up like eight of these bases. They were like 70p or something like that. So I have loads of these that I can pot around the house, um, which is really nice if I get any more pots. But oh my gosh, this Heather is so gorgeous. I'm absolutely in love. And as you know, Alex and I have a lot of Scottish heritage. It's very, very special to us to have kind of like scottish touches around the house so to have heather just feels like so like close to home you know what i mean like i absolutely love it so i picked up this white one which i really really love i then also have put a white one over here i've ended up getting rid of the, the toaster from the side i used to have the toaster here i just felt like it was a little bit too busy especially because i feel like everyone needs a basket of crap in their kitchen like that's for chargers that's for letters that you need to open like this kind of I just always ignore because it always looks that messy um but yeah the toaster used to sit here and I feel like it's so much nicer having like a bit more of an open space um so I've put another little pot of heather which I really really love I've got this Suzanne candle which I have been burning so much this autumn I'm absolutely in love it's just such a gorgeous scent it's not really too seasonal which I quite like so I've got that um I've got a gorgeous little antique um tea cu cup which I really really like um and then a little chopping board behind it and I really like how that looks. I've then added, if you remember from the south of France, our olive oil, which Alex has been loving using. He's really, really excited to like just have this forever. We can just keep refilling it with olive oils. Um, and I just think it's really, really special to have brought that back from France, that we have an olive oil, which literally was made by French olives. Like the guy said that the grove used to make this olive oil was like 10 minutes down the road, which is really, really cool. Um, and then on the windowsill, I've also done a few little updates, which I absolutely love. I've added a little fern. Now the basil plant I had here, he just got too leggy. I cut him back to try and like give him a new lease of life and he just died. So I have got a new basil that I've potted over by on the kitchen table, which I'll show you in a second. But for now, I'm loving this setup. Now this, I have no idea what it is. I picked up at the garden center and there was a big sign saying, do not eat. It looks like little tomatoes, but they're not little tomatoes. But I just loved how it looked. I thought it was really, really cool very autumnal with like the colors and the tones in it and I loved the little pots these two pots were actually on sale at the garden center as well so I was really really happy with that um and then I potted a new oh I can't remember what herb this is I have to remind myself what this one was but we've got the chives we've got this and then the rosemary which Alex literally used yesterday so a lot of it has been cut back I think I need to have a word with him because I think he keeps pulling it instead of cutting it and it means it's not growing back as well as it should so loving how that is looking i've also ordered another one of these because i think i want to double them up because it technically is wide enough but as soon as you kind of start like opening the window and faffing about it really bunches up so i've ordered another one so that you can go next to each other and then it can just look a little bit more framed around the window so so really excited about that now this is my favorite heather out of all of them i'm so so in love with how it looks it's got so many different colors running through it we've got the pinks we've got the like reds we've got white we've got like purple oh it's just so gorgeous I think that's just my favorite pot that I have potted up I love how it looks um, and then the last two which I am absolutely in love with you can see why Alex has said that we are literally living in like a herb farm now because there are so many new herbs um, but I got a new mint and a new basil and one thing I would say when it comes to herbs it's the best place to actually buy them is from supermarkets I got these both from Waitrose yesterday and I feel like they do really really good herbs because they're just like in tiny little pots they're super easy to pop up and again super affordable um so yeah gonna have to watch this basil because he's already looking like he's taking over but I just love the smell of basil 
oh, when you like rub it on your fingers, it's just gorgeous. And I always love mint for like drinks and stuff whenever you're hosting. So I just wanted to make sure that I had new ones of those because the ones I had on the windowsill didn't do as well. The reason I moved them off is because I do feel like that windowsill is basically too sunny. As soon as the sun hits that, as you can see, it's just about hitting now from, what time is it? Nearly half past nine in the morning. And it doesn't stop hitting that until maybe like two, three in the afternoon. So it's very hot and very sunny on that windowsill. And I think it was just a bit much for the herbs that I had there. Um, so hopefully they'll do a little bit better over here. But I love how this looks. Just a really cute little like herby station on the table. I think it's such a nice little... Um, a little tablescape just something really really simple so i'm just loving how it's looking in here i feel like all of these updates have just been like so needed because throughout the summer i just don't focus on the inside of the house as much and like i obviously just want to focus on the outside but it's soon going to be time to put the garden furniture away. It's soon going to be time to like put them back into storage um, and kind of just say goodbye to the garden, which makes me so, so sad because I do absolutely love it in there. I mean, I am still, of course, using my um, veg truck and I do still have a few flowers which are going strong. Those begonias, honestly, I can't tell you how well they did. My eucalyptus is looking good. Obviously, my olive tree is like evergreen. So there are a few things that are kind of like staying out there, but I just feel like it was so nice just to do like a full autumn refresh in the house. Um, and do like a big switch up, get loads of things like potted up and organized and it's just given me a new lease of life. As I said, this weekend literally healed my soul. So I am feeling very happy and just loving all of the new updates. Oh my goodness, I've just had the most incredible delivery arrive from Lancome. I thought we could unbox it together because it just says HPN on it. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Oh, hyaluronic acid, HPN. Known for its ability to enhance moisture retention and hydration, hyaluronic acid helps fill skin with moisture and corrects the appearance of wrinkles. Discover A discovery of over 300 types of pet types obtained from Biotech, a vitamin supporting skin function with proven efficiency of skin tone, evenness and age, and discoloration. So hyaluronic acid, peptides, and niacinamide. That's the HPN. Introducing the latest addition to the award-winning Regenery range. Regenery HPN 300 peptide rich cream. Oh, I am really excited about this because I love this serum. Oh my word, this is insane. This is not the normal packaging for this serum. This is incredible. Wow. Regenery serum hcf triple serum this is absolutely incredible i've got lady c hooked on this as well actually she absolutely adores the serum it's a spenny one but my goodness me is it good i feel like it just really revitalizes your skin and if you're someone who has sensitive skin you struggle a lot with other serums with them being too like heavy on your skin you need to try this this is absolutely incredible i don't think i've ever seen this packaging before Oh my word, this must be limited edition packaging that they're doing for it, for the celebration of the new cream. So first of all, this I think is the original Regenery cream, um, which has a HPN 300 peptide cream, which I do absolutely adore. And then this is the new one. Oh, it's a rich cream. Okay, so this sounds like much more of like an evening cream, which I do love. I love like a thick moisturizer in the evening. Sorry, my um, focus is struggling there. I love a rich moisturizer in the evening and I love the sound of this. So I'm definitely going to have to give this a try this evening. As I said this morning, like my lips and my skin are so dry at the moment. So I definitely think I'm going to use these two this evening and give myself like a really, really good pamper. And then this is a bit more of like a day one, um, which I absolutely adore as well. So some really lovely gifts from Lancome. Thank you so, so much for these goodies. That is so kind of you. And I'm so excited for the launch of the new Regenery cream my goodness me this is one of my absolute favorites you definitely need to try this range it's such an incredible range so really exciting to have some new top-ups from them show you a quick little gym outfit of the day before we get going um the little sweatshirt in all its glory i've got the gorgeous valley leggings on and the new look trainers which i am absolutely in love with you can see the prints behind me which i promise i will unbox later because we have some gorgeous new canvases i also before i went just wanted to show you this gorgeous little robe that they sent us away with from the italy retreat i mean how cute is this there were two of us 
who were brides to be. The rest were already married, and they got the brides to be the white ones, which I just thought was so so lovely. I've never had a little personalised robe. I feel like a proper bride now, which is just so so cute. But the other girls got like pink and champagne. There were so many gorgeous colours. They're from a brand called La Olive, so I'll leave it linked down below. But I just wanted to show you that because I didn't manage to show you it whilst we were away on the trip, and it's just such a cute little gift that the brand sent us away with. But I need to get going now, ready for my workout class. Oh, I'm actually quite excited to go get a little bit sweaty and just like ugh, sweat out all the intoxins and all the endorphins. You know, and it sounds really gross, but sometimes I just love that. And I can jump in the pool and have a lovely swim. So yeah, let's get going. Well, my goodness me, was that needed. I'm feeling so refreshed afterwards. Now it wasn't even cold when we went in the pool, actually. As soon as the sun is shining and on your face, it is just so, so lovely. I feel like I want to make this like a bit of a tradition on a Monday morning. It's just the perfect way to start the week. But you may be able to tell, I'm not in my usual background. I am at Lady C's now. I've come over to hers for lunch and we've decided to do something that I've been wanting to do for ages and bless her, she's been waiting to do it with me so that I can show you guys on the vlog. Now, if you remember when we went and did our Diamond Masterclass at Lane's, they sent us away with a bit little goodie bag. One of the things in the goodie bag was this. It is the Connoisseur's Silver Jewellery Cleaner. And we thought we would give it a go on Lady C's Jewellery. So we've got it all laid out here because a lot of this is looking very like tarnished, very black, and we thought that we would give it a try and see how well the cleaner works because I feel like no matter what jewellery you've got, whether it's like Pandora jewellery, like old silver jewellery, anything that's starting to look a little bit tired, I feel like this could really, really work. Um, so you can pick this up in at Lane's. I will leave it linked down below and we thought we would give this a bit of a test. Okay, first tester, we've got this, which is um, from my granny. I feel like this vlog has been talking about granny a lot. Um, but a little inherited piece that Lady C's got. Do you want to put it in? Mm. Do I just drop it in? Uh-huh. Like that? How many seconds? Ten. Look. Oh my gosh. Let's give it a few more minutes. One of the faces is still... Let me to put them in. Oh yeah, look. Mm. Oh my gosh. There we are. Oh wow. I feel like that has actually made such a huge <gasps> that is like a completely different colour. Oh wow. I cannot believe that. Just put it on here to dry. <gasps> oh my gosh, okay, we need to do the rest of it. <laughs> okay, obviously it's really hard to show on camera in terms of colours, but this was the same colour as these two pieces here before. It was as dark as those, and look how silver it's gone. That is absolutely incredible. I cannot believe the difference. I'm gonna pop the rest in. This one next? Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah, that definitely has made a difference. Oh, yeah, look. oh wow. It does do it quite instantly, doesn't it's it? It's literally instantly. Look at that, it was black. That's amazing. It doesn't seem to like, I don't see the black coming out of it though. Do you know what I mean? Look at that. Incredible. Of course, it's just loads. It's very nice. Yeah. You can just put it in. And then just dab it. Yeah. Wow. That was genuinely black before. Yeah. That's mad. Take a pick. Let's go. This one I think will be a good one. Wow. It's when you hold it to the... It's when you put it back next yeah. to the other pieces. Oh, look. Oh, gosh, yeah. It's that instant. Just, just, I mean, that just literally before our eyes went... Bu -bu 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 -bu. It really did. That's Because this has literally been, like, black. Yeah. I've worn it with a coat once and it blended into the coat. Do you know what it kind of reminds me of? The smell. It's something from the 90s, like some kind of squishy, like Play-Doh sand type. Let's try the bracelet, especially the latch. This one? Yeah, put out the latch. I don't want, I don't want to just want to watch it do it. That one's very black, I don't know if that'll come off very well. A bit more in, a bit fresh in. I definitely need to pick some more of this up from Lane's. Okay. Yeah, it is starting to come out now. Oh, bizarre. 
It's not the bottom of that stuff. I think it's the literally the stuff coming off. Yeah, the rust the coming stuff. off. Look at the um, black marks. That brass was literally black. Look, that's insane. That one I think has come up the best. Oh. Which one do you want next? Uh, this one? Yeah. Very stuff. I don't think that's very dark too much. It doesn't look it, no. I, but think so. I feel like it will um it will come up quite well. Yeah, look, it didn't look no, bad really before, but then as soon as you put it in, you're like, wow, that was dirty. I just want to show you the difference between the three that we have done and the ones that we have not done. Can you see how black they look? They're like not shiny. And then at the second that they come out, it's literally instant. Like this clasp was like completely black inside. You couldn't even see the watermark before. I'm so impressed. Like this one didn't even look that dirty when we first put it in. It's just come out so sparkly. I can't believe the difference. This one was a little bit tricky because it's all twisted, but it was so dark before. And if you look at it next to the ones we've not done, there is such a huge difference. You can see what's left in the box underneath. It's like this yellow, looks like yellow powdery stuff, which I think must have been the rust that's just come off of all of the jewelry pieces, but they are looking so beautiful and shiny. I can't believe how well they've come out, especially these pieces here, which were, as I said, my granny's. So these are decades old. They were like so black and it's literally come out beautifully silver, this one especially. So I'm back from Lady C's now. I honestly cannot get over how insane that jewelry cleaner was. Wasn't really sure what to expect. She'd done like a little test on a couple of her jewelry pieces. And oh my God, honestly, it literally like, it didn't even come up on camera and it was really difficult to see. So I kind of expected to see like, I don't know, like the dirt lifting. You didn't actually see any like black coming off, but you literally just saw the piece. It was almost instant the second that you placed it into the solution. It just went so like silvery and shiny again. It was absolutely incredible. So I will leave that link down below if I can find it. Um, as I said, if not, you can go into a lane store and ask for it because we picked it up from lanes. But I've come in here because as you can see behind me, I've got my prints and I thought I would show you the new Desenio prints that I have. Now, I don't actually have any command hooks on me at the moment and I don't really want to create too many like holes in the wall. So I much prefer with these kind of Desenio prints to put them up on the wall because they're really light. Um, so I much prefer to put them up with um, command hooks rather than having to like drill holes. The reason I wanted to come in here is because this is kind of the main room that I'm thinking with regards to like changing up. I do love my line prints but I'm not really sure if they're very like me anymore. I feel like my style has changed so so much with regards to what I'm kind of like putting around the house, the interiors. As I said this morning the difference between what the living room looked like literally this time last year compared to now is absolutely insane. Like I just look at it and think that was so devoid of character whereas now I love it to be colourful, I love it to be really characterful and I just much prefer adding like touches of me so that being said the new canvases that i picked up from Desenia, i really want to add like a little bit more color and a little bit more of like our personality and this is the one that i'm feeling would be really really cute for in here so it's actually a monet painting that they've done as a canvas print which i absolutely love because it's canvas it literally looks like 3d it looks like a real painting which is what i really really liked about it and i just loved the like flower detail it's got this like bluey background which is why i thought it might work quite well in here because this room's very like gray it's very kind of like chill calm like i do love this bedroom space we really really try hard to keep this as like minimalistic as possible i'm really not a minimalist when it comes to interiors but i feel like sorry knocking you there but i feel like with the bedroom it's the one place that i do quite like it to be quite minimal and i do really like it to be as calm as tranquil and as like I just want there to be as least amount of stuff as possible. So I thought this would be a really, really nice one. And I've got these all in the 55 times 75 size because I do feel like it just makes such an impact. Like we do have quite big walls and I always feel like if your artwork is too small, it just looks a little bit odd on the wall. So I really, really liked that one. And then these two, I'm kind of undecided where I'm gonna put them actually. I'm thinking maybe in our dressing room. It's so the first one. It's this really, really gorgeous canvas print. And it's got this beautiful like bouquet it's like floral arrangement on it. It's supposed to look like pressed flowers, which I really, really like. And I love the colorway through it. I'm really loving adding like pinks and reds into the house. At the moment, I feel like it's just really, really working with our kind of like aesthetic. I think it looks really, really cool. And then you can see at the bottom, it's got the writing on it that says, Bouquet Presse Quatre, quatre Type de Fleur. Guessing that means four 
quadrant de trois quatre. Yeah, that must be four types of flowers. Which, these are beautiful flowers. I'm not entirely sure what they actually are. These look like snapdragons to me. But I'm not entirely sure what the rest are. So if anyone knows what these flowers are, please let me know. Because I just thought they were so beautiful. And I thought this could work really, really well in our dressing room. It would be quite nice to make it a little bit more like girly. A little bit more of a fun space to be. So I thought that would be beautiful. And then the last one that I picked up is another one that's like very floral. You can tell that I had kind of flowers on my mind. I feel like this end, end of summer I'm just really loving more like natural things. And I actually read somewhere that seeing flowers and seeing nature in your home actually like evokes an emotion and it makes us happier which i thought was really really interesting so i really loved the flowers on this i really love the kind of impressionist style where you've just got like lots of dots and like i really love it to be very like abstract i think it's so so beautiful so i love the fact that this one had more of like a gray background i initially thought this one might be good enough in this room but i do feel like because we've got gray walls having a gray canvas it's a little bit too like blendy like it kind of blends in together so i thought the blue might be a bit nice because it would stand out a bit more um but i just really loved the flowers in this i thought they were so so beautiful and again the fact that it looks like a real painting that it's in like a canvas i really loved that because i don't have to worry about the glare I don't have to worry about you know like um artist glass or anything like that but I am doing a collaboration with Tessenia over on my Instagram so I'm gonna put these up and style them at some point and you'll be able to see them featured on my Instagram as well but I wanted to show you them in this video because I just thought they were so beautiful I really love new artwork for the home I feel like it just really helps like regenerate it for the new season I'm just really really loving kind of like just getting my home ready for autumn and getting like organized for the new season because there's nothing better than having like a full new season refresh and I do feel like having new prints and new canvases really really helps with that just to kind of show you what I was thinking for here so as I said I've always loved these illustrations but I'm just not sure if they're me anymore and as you will probably recognize this is a background for me for filming I always love having different filming backgrounds for kind of different purposes so in here in the bedroom is very much like my get ready with me is in my office slash dressing room it's a bit more kind of like styling hauls different outfits ways to wear whereas this space is just like perfect for a get ready um but i'm thinking instead of having the two just doing one and just having it a little bit off to the side because i do quite like it when art is a bit like i don't know it's not like central i like it when it's a little bit more imperfect but what do we think i feel like it's really difficult for me to look at you and see but Obviously, ignore the prints that are already here. I don't want to take them down until I've got the new um, command hooks so that I can put this one up because I don't want to see like a bare empty wall. Um, I'm thinking that like there. And then you'll also be able to see this in all of my Get Ready With Me videos. I really like it when I've got like prints and canvases behind me. I feel like it really adds character to the, um, the reels that I do. But yeah, let me know. Do we love it? I can't really see, so I'm gonna have to wait and watch this back in the editing. Honestly, it's such, like, such a weird angle. Very unflattering, but it doesn't matter. We're looking at the artwork, that's all that matters. Maybe it needs to come down a bit, I'm not sure. I feel like I'm so short that it's really difficult trying to like put artwork up that works for both me and Alex because any mirror that I can see in, he can't see in. Any mirror that he can see in, I can't see in. So I kind of want to make it work. I think maybe just like that. I think that's really cute. But yeah, comment down below. Let me know what we think. Now, as well as getting up my home ready for autumn and all of my interiors ready for the new season, I, of course, have also been doing a little bit of fashion shopping and i just can't help myself i get so inspired when it comes to a new season adding in gorgeous new pieces and i actually recently before going away to italy filmed a new look haul but i never actually ended up uploading it because i had a lot going on in that video i ended up cutting it sometimes it's always like behind the scenes with youtube videos that you just never really see especially when it comes to like i don't know sponsorships or partnerships or things like that so i never actually ended up uploading the footage but there's so many cute pieces in there that i really wanted to show you and i have already been like adding them into my wardrobe and kind of like cycling through them particularly the new dress that you're about to see this is actually last season's version of the new look dress but they release this dress every single year and i just absolutely love them i live in them at this time of year and i do feel like the transitional period is so difficult when it comes to styling. I know here in the UK we're a little bit chilly, but especially I feel like it shows to me how much kind of like delayed autumn is in like the rest of Europe. So whether you're living in Portugal, Italy, the south of France, like so many other places in 
the rest of Europe and even the rest of the world, you have like a little bit more of a delayed autumn. And I don't know what it's like for you, but I do feel like here in the UK it can be really, really tricky. Because in the morning, you just want to be cozy. You want to be wearing like your chunkiest, coziest knits. And then by the time you hit the afternoon, you get really hot and bothered. So I feel like layering is great. And like those pieces that can really serve themselves well for transitional styling is really important to add into your wardrobe at this time of year. So I'm going to insert the little new look haul now so you can see the new and pieces that I've been picking up. So I placed a little bit of a new look order for some new in autumn winter pieces. And you guys know how much I adore new look at this time of year. I really feel like autumn is when they come into their own. And I have so many pieces in my wardrobe from new look. The knitwear pieces, jackets, coats, jumper dresses that I have literally had in my wardrobe for years. Like years on end. And I know I talk about this a lot. But whenever it comes to like investment pieces, I always say that it doesn't have to necessarily be like a cost investment like an initial purchase investment sometimes it's just adding in pieces that are really classic really timeless and you look after well and i feel like new look is one of those brands for me it really is like an investment brand in that sense so the first thing i picked up I feel like it's probably the most classic thing to add into your wardrobe in autumn winter is that it's a gorgeous stripe jumper. Now, I love me a stripe jumper. I feel like they are so timeless and classic and I have a few different styles in my wardrobe. But something that I was kind of missing is one with like a white base. And this is going to sound really weird, but I do feel like when it comes to jumpers, when it's a black and white stripe, it can be very obvious when it's like a black jumper with a white stripe or a white jumper with a black stripe. And I've been looking for a white jumper with a black stripe for so, so long. Most of them do like a black base. And I just wanted something a little bit lighter, like a little bit more... I don't know, I feel like this to me is a little bit more like end of summer, early autumn. I feel like I can style this up in a lot of different ways. I actually saw someone style online and I just thought it would be the cutest thing to do with this jumper. A like white and black jumper, white base, black stripe with white linen trousers. And I just loved how she started. It looked so like early, autumnal, really, really gorgeous. So perfect if, especially you're like here in the UK. I don't know what it's like in other countries, but you can always feel like it comes into autumn. Even when the weather's still warm, even when it's still hot, like it is at the moment. You can tell because in the morning and in the evening, it's really, really chilly. In summertime, we find that there's not like a huge temperature variation. Like even when the sun sets, it can still stay quite warm. In September time and in autumn, it can get so, so cold as soon as the sun sets. Like when I was out for dinner and drinks with my friends the other night, we all got really, really chilly because we were sitting outside eating. And as soon as the sun set, we needed the heaters on because it was really, really cold and none of us had brought jackets. I feel like this is just perfect to bring like over your shoulders. You can sling on and just like tie up around your shoulders or to chuck on with a pair of linen trousers. It's just something like really loose and undone. It's kind of almost like Hampton style, which I really, really like. So I just thought this was such a great addition into my autumn winter wardrobe and I know I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it. Oh my goodness, I am absolutely in love with this jumper. So I've just added it to a pair of linen trousers and I really, really like how it looks. This is actually a pair of new look linen trousers that I bought at the beginning of summer. So if they're still available, I will leave them linked down below. But as you can see, the jumper is very off-white. It kind of looks to me like you've washed it one too many times, but in the best way possible. I know that sounds really weird to like that style, but it just makes it a little bit more relaxed. It kind of looks like your grandma knitted it for you, which I really, really like. Again, really giving me Hamptons vibes with like a little Panama hat, cute little straw bag. I feel like I can style this up for summer. And then obviously, as soon as we get into the colder months, leggings, trousers, skirts. I feel like there's lots of different ways that I can style up this jumper. So this is going to be well, well worn in my autumn winter wardrobe. Well, I know in my last video, we spoke a lot about those transitional pieces that can bring you from summer into autumn. And as soon as I saw this dress, I was like, that is one of those pieces. That's a great one to style up now with a pair of slides a basket bag and then as soon as the weather gets a little bit colder swap it out with some closed toe shoes and a leather handbag and then if need be when it gets even colder i can layer thermals underneath this and i can wear it with like a long line coat i love a shirt dress with a long line coat in winter and i loved the pattern of this i don't have anything like this it's really really beautiful very timeless and it's kind of giving me totem vibes at a much more affordable price i mean this was literally 
$37.99. So, so amazing. So I thought this was such a cute little dress to add into my wardrobe. And you know me, you know I'm a dress girl through and through. So I always love being able to add dresses into my autumnal and winter wardrobe in ways in which I can wear them and I can style them so that I can still stay really true to my personal style, but wear things that are much more seasonally appropriate and it can really pull me into the new season. Oh my goodness, how beautiful is this dress and I always love about pleated skirts just the way that they move I always feel like whenever I try them on I'm just like moving about because I just love the way that they just kind of like uh, they just flow I think is the best way to describe it so I've just put the dress on with a gorgeous little pair of ballet flats and I feel like it really really works the like black and white against the black and neutral of the shoes and it really is such a beautiful dress again gorgeous work where I think would make really really beautiful office attire but also for me just so perfect for like when I'm around the house I want to be comfortable and yet I still want to be like nice and elevated so really love this I think this is such a beautiful one to add into my wardrobe for autumn next up I picked up some shoes and now if you know me, you'll know I'm not the biggest trainer girl. I don't know whether these are trainers or sneakers. I'm not entirely sure what the difference is. As you can tell, I am not clued up about what the cool kids wear. But you know that I love to just like get my body moving. I love going to the gym. I love going to the club for like a swim. I love going for a walk in the morning. And I do feel like, especially in autumn, I really want to keep that habit up. I do find with the darker mornings, I can get really low with my mood. And as soon as I do a bit of exercise, it like lifts me back up and kind of like brings me out of that mood. So I feel like at least, I'm gonna say three, four, five. I wanna say at least five times a week, I wanna spend the morning moving up my body and just getting outside, getting into fresh air, going forks and things like that. So I wanted to pick up a new pair of trainers. I don't actually own any black trainers and I do feel like, especially with leggings, black trainers work really, really well. And I wanted them to be a little bit more chunky because the chunkier the trainer, the comfier they will be, I think potentially not um, but I feel like they're just gonna be really good for like my posture and for walking and things like that and also whenever I wear wide leg trousers I'm short so I need a little bit of height to help me out there because I don't always want to be wearing like full-on gym gear sometimes I just want to wear my outfit of the day go for the walk come home take the trains off and change into some nice ballet flats um so I thought these would be a great one to add into my wardrobe I thought they were really really cute I think they also came in white I believe like a white version of these but I will leave a link down below obviously to everything I feature in this video but also just to like new looks trainers because I do feel like they have some really really gorgeous ones and they're so much more affordable than brands that are like branded trainers you know what I mean like I don't really want to spend that much money on something that I know I'm just really going to be wearing for like a practicality sense rather than like a style sense so I thought these were a great one to add into my wardrobe I then have a couple of pairs of trousers to show you now I am a dress girl through and through but I do want to be able to create a real like capsule wardrobe of pieces that I can just kind of like mix and match together and I'm loving my wide leg trousers at the moment especially with like longer line jumpers cable knits things like that I just feel like it works really really well so when I saw these trousers on Lula I thought they were perfect they're like a much lighter material as well these would have been great to have worn at the weekend when I went to Winchester but really love the fact that they also have an elasticated waistband I think these will make great office wear as well if you work in an office I always get questions about office attire workwear attire everything like that I think that would be great with like a shirt over the top you could either tuck it in or leave it loose for something a little bit more kind of like cool and androgynous <gasps> they also have pockets oh my goodness this changes everything they have pockets and I feel like this kind of thing I'll be able to just like wear really easily I can wear with the trainers go for my walk and then crack on with the rest of my day so really excited about these because I feel like they're really like filling a gap in my wardrobe and you know I always say whenever it comes to adding in new and pieces you are either replacing upgrading or filling a gap and I really do feel like I don't have any trousers like this so this is really filling a gap for me in my autumn wardrobe i'm not gonna lie when i first tried the jumper on i was like oh do you know what would work really well with this black wide leg trousers and here they are i am so so in love with how this looks do you know what actually would be really cute just doing a little half tuck like that i just love doing that for something just like a little bit more loose and casual but i love the trousers they're like so slinky so soft they're a little bit long on me i might look at seeing if i can get these altered because i do feel like having a good pair of black wide leg trousers fit you perfectly is something money can't buy basically except it can because i can get them altered but i really really like this as a look i just feel like it's so easy so comfortable i feel like you can wear this at the weekend you can wear this into the office you can style it up for so many different occasions and actually with the trainers i think would look really cute as well i'm just wearing it with no shoes at the moment so you can kind of see the actual length on me um but with the kind of like height boost of those trainers i think would work really really well so love these trousers i think i'm going to be living in these 
in the next couple of months. Now I'm not gonna lie, this other pair of trousers that I picked up I did not realise came with the belt. Although I kind of wish they didn't do that because can you see how much the belt has been like damaged from transit? Like it was obviously folded in half and it means the belt now has this like big fold crease mark in the middle which is a little bit of a shame but a pair of trousers that are a little bit different for me which I'm kind of excited about. I have been doing a lot of Pinteresting, mood boarding, Instagramming, looking at autumn outfits that I want to be wearing. And I saw someone who wore this like really cool look. It was just like really like loose, easy trousers, a shirt thrown over the top, a cable neck jumper thrown over the top. And I just feel like that's what I want to be wearing in autumn winter. Something that's like really casual, really easy to wear and like quite laid back, but still looks really pulled together. That is exactly how I want to be dressing. It's almost like that rich mom vibe. I really, really love the rich mom aesthetic. Um, but I thought these were really cute. They're almost like a denim material, but not quite. They're actually called I think chinos oh no it does say new look denim and I bought these from the petite section as well so this should fit really really nicely in length I shouldn't have to roll them up anymore um, but I went for a 14 in these and looking at them they look a little big but I'm hoping that they're going to be a bit more of like a balloon style and I can just kind of cinch them in at the waist and they're going to be super comfy and super easy to wear so something a little bit different for me but I'm quite excited about them because I feel like they could work really really well in my autumn wardrobe and I feel like I can create some new really cool outfits with these okay now these i am kind of loving as i said they're very different for me and i'm really glad i got them in the boutiques they're actually cropped which i never never get when it comes to trousers like this but i do think they work really really well with the jumper as well i'm kind of loving the fact that this is turning into a bit of a capsule wardrobe haul with regards to new autumnal pieces um but yeah again just starting them up with no shoes you can really see kind of like the length on me um so they actually come cropped like above the ankle which is really really exciting um and they fit really nicely around like my thighs around my bum as I said they're like a balloon kind of style which I quite like with regards to these chinos because you can cinch in the belt and make them fit perfectly now obviously I've just tucked the jumper into my bra but one thing that I would definitely look at doing is just kind of having it a little bit looser having everything a little bit more kind of like untucked and undone just wearing the trousers like this is something super cash and super easy I really really like that I feel like that's really giving me rich mum vibes which I really really like just a pair of little like white tennis trainers I feel like would complete the look so definitely keeping these I think they're a great addition into my wardrobe and as I said something I do not own something I do not have anything similar of so really excited to see how else I'll be able to style these up now the last thing that I wanted to show you I am so excited about because I live in these in autumn, winter, like literally live in these dresses. I have so many in my collection now, some dating back about five years ago. And New Look release these every single year. They bring out like a new season version of them. So I'm so, so excited that they have brought out this year's version of their iconic jumper dress. And I have a couple that are like turtleneck versions, mock turtleneck versions, and I have a couple of crew necks. I didn't have one that was like this high up as a crew neck. My other one that I have is a little bit kind of like wider on the neckline. And I really am loving this crew neck at the moment. I feel like it's really classic, really easy to style, cozy, but not too cozy, perfect for this time of year. And I just love these jumper dresses. They look so elegant. They are so easy to dress up or dress down, and they are the comfiest thing in the world so there's a reason I have so many in my wardrobe I really need to get my others out of storage because I've got a lot of my autumn winter pieces in storage at the moment and I'm not quite been ready to do the full autumn winter transition like the wardrobe switch over yet but when I do you'll be able to see the like the kind of like dresses over the years so I'm really 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 excited that New Look have finally released this year's version because I know this is going to be another one that I'm going to get so much wear out of I love the fact that it's like same same but different every single year they release a like slightly different version of them and they change the style ever so slightly so you don't feel like you're just rebuying the same thing like you do feel like you're adding something into your wardrobe that you know you get the wear out of you know you're going to style up notes you know that you're going to get your cost per wear from but still looks ever so slightly different from the other pieces. So absolutely in love with this dress. I think I need one in every color again. Honestly, I'm a nightmare. <laughs>
Oh my goodness, the new addition into the new look dress collection. I'm so, so in love with this. As I said, it's quite different with regards to the neckline. I've got one that really kind of like comes quite far up to my shoulders. I've got a couple that are like roll necks, turtlenecks, but I don't have anything with this classic crew neck and especially with like a beautiful pendant necklace. It just works so, so well. Obviously it's quite warm today, so I've just rolled up the sleeves, but it is a beautiful like full length sleeve and I just love the silhouettes that it gives. It's like so stretchy, so comfy and just looks so, so beautiful. I love the fact that they do these two slits at the bottom as well. So it means the dress isn't too tight. I think that's what makes it really easy for like everyday wear as well because if it was like completely tight against your um, calves I feel like it would look a little bit more evening attire whereas obviously you can dress it up for the evening or you can wear it as I am just with like ballet flats, you can wear it with slides, you can wear it with boots, you can wear it with trainers. Honestly I style these dresses with everything so I'm so excited to have another one to add into my collection to rotate between throughout the autumn winter months. And back to present day, just like that little bit of editing magic going on there. But you know that we are entering the cozy months when the cozy dressing gown comes out. Oh my goodness me, this is actually making me so happy that there is a chill in the air and I am loving it. Absolutely loving it. I am someone that loves dressing gowns and I know you do too because I actually get more questions on my dressing gowns than I often do about my outfits and they're only supposed to be worn as like interim little things before I actually put the outfit on. The amount of times I'll get more questions on the dressing gown I was wearing before I actually put my outfit on than I do about the outfit which is I mean, we can do spirits just now. I was going to say it's ridiculous, but I love my dressing gowns, so I always love answering your questions. Um, but I have quite a few dressing gowns in my collection. I've got like three summer ones, which I love, all of which they're cyber jammies. I've got one like really cozy depths of winter dressing gown, and then I've got this one, which is kind of like my interim dressing gown. I kind of consider this one, it's like my transitional one. It's great for autumn and it's great for spring when you want to be a little bit cozy, but it's not full on like freezing cold and you get too hot in like your full thick dressing gown. We actually, I I would say that our house is quite a warm house. Old houses in the UK usually kind of retain heat and stay, they like stay cooler better in summer and they stay warmer better in winter, I personally find. So because we've got quite an old house, I do find that now it's not too chilly in it. I mean, I can definitely sense a little bit of a chill, but this is like the perfect one. I actually got this one from Ugg in Gunwolf Keys back. I think it was Christmas actually um, last year and as you can see it's like a little bit fluffy it's really soft on the inside I'll see if I can find something similar and link it down below for you guys because I do love this one I mean it's very like simple and plain but so perfect for this time of year but I just wanted to come on here and basically sign off the video because it's been a long time since we've done like a full day vlog but today has been a day of vlogging. I've had so much to catch you up on, so much to tell you about. I really do feel like it's been like a big old catch up and I am going to get my makeup off and I'm going to test drive the new Lancome cream tonight. Um, which one do I want? The cream anti-age, the cream rich is what I want. Um, this is the new one that I'm really, really excited to try. I love the serum. It's like so, so beautiful, but I've not actually tried the creams before and especially because this is a new product launch. I'm really, really excited. I might just put a little bit on the back of my hand just so that we can, oh, it smells incredible. I really, really like when products have like a little bit of a scent to them, but they're not too strong. I really love that. Oh, that's like a really nice thick cream that blends in oh, beautifully. Oh, that is absolutely amazing. I can't believe how well that's blended in considering how thick that cream is. I feel like that's just gonna be the perfect product just to give my skin like a bit of a reset this evening. I feel like that will just be the perfect thing. As I said, I feel like it's been all the traveling, the airplanes and also the fact that I've used like lots of different skincare over the last couple of weeks whilst I've been traveling is probably also the change of seasons. Going from like a really, really hot climate to a really cold climate, that's quite an adjustment for your skin and I'm really, really feeling it. So I feel like I'm just doing everything I can to keep my skin nice and moisturized and I do feel like that is gonna really help. I just noticed, I think these are refillable. Can you see that? I think you can buy just the refill pot as well so you don't have to buy the full packaging every time, which is always absolutely amazing. But so excited to try that fully tonight. I'm taking my makeup off with two products that I absolutely love, talking about resetting my skin, the L'Occitane Oil to Milk. It's actually called a facial makeup remover rather than like a cleanser. And it's a really, really nice oily one. And it is infused with the Immortel and Calendula. And I do feel like the Immortel 
products they just reset your skin literally reset your skin so i'm really loving this at making sure that i am taking off my makeup but also not like stripping my skin of moisture or stripping my skin of oils so i'm going to use that tonight and i'm also going to use a face halo because i think it was josie that said in a recent video that one reason she uses face halos is because basically she uses the face halo to take off her actual makeup and then it means that the expensive products that she is buying actually like do what they're supposed to do on your skin like they get to like cleanse and get to work on your skin rather than just like taking off your makeup so i'm gonna use this and this and then finish the evening with this so i'm gonna leave this vlog here i really hope you guys enjoyed all of the cozy autumnal updates i'm so so excited about the new season if you can't already tell i really hope no one has made this a drinking game how many times i've said autumn because you will be sloshed by now absolutely sloshed um but I'll pick back up with you guys tomorrow in a new vlog. We've got lots to show you. I've got lots to update you on still. And I'm just excited to be home. I do love being home. Honestly, I'm such a homebody. So it's going to be a lovely couple of months just at home. Enjoying being in the new forest countryside. Nothing makes me happier. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.